Mourinho tells the board to get rid of Anthony Martial. There's a Madrid-based battle for Marcus Alonso. Everton are looking to recoup a huge amount of money for one of their youngsters. And Alan Shearer has his say on the best foreign Premier League player. That and more coming up in the next few minutes. As I'm your host, Matt Froelich, you are the one footballers, and this is The Daily News. <sighs> that was a strong coffee. With Jose Mourinho constantly complaining about a lack of signings, you would have thought that he's unlikely to get rid of anyone for fear of his squad being too small. Well, that's normally the case unless he really, really, really dislikes a player, like Anthony Martial. Today, reports are saying that Mourinho will hold a massive meeting with all of his squad to discuss the goings on during the transfer window. But before that, he'll also go to Executive Vice Chairman Ed Woodward and ask him to sell Anthony Martial. The French forward looks set to stay at United after interest from Bayern Munich has cooled down in the last few weeks, but this obviously doesn't please Jose Mourinho. To be honest, it looks like Mourinho could be the one heading out of Old Trafford much before any first team player will. But now onto some more transfer news concerning Chelsea left back Marcus Alonso. After scoring the winner against Arsenal at the weekend, both Atletico and Real Madrid looks set to lock horns in a bid to sign the player. They'll be willing to pay around the £27 million mark for him, however, a move to Atletico looks much more likely. This is because their current left-back Felipe Luiz could be moving to PSG within the next few days, so Alonso could walk straight into the starting eleven. whereas at Real Madrid he'd have to sit on the bench and wait for Marcelo to get injured or fall out of form, something which seems highly unlikely. On top of all this, Chelsea must be willing to let him go in the first place, and with him having such a strong start to the season, Maurizio Sarri looks very unlikely to sanction such a deal. But one deal that may be done is Everton youngster Adam Ola Lukman moving back to RB Leipzig. The 19-year-old was on loan last season in Germany and obviously did well enough that they want to buy him back. However, Everton want £30 million for him, and this is what I just don't understand. This is a huge figure, especially for German transfer fees, but how can they ask that much money for someone that they don't really rate in the first place? If they think he's that good, they'll put him in the first team and don't want to sell him. And if they want to sell him because they don't think he's good enough for the first team, how can you then justify £30 million? As usual guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this deal and what you think of asking for such a ludicrous amount of money for someone who doesn't really play. And finally, we come to an intense topic of debate where the outcome will probably be decided by where your allegiances lie. As for all-time Premier League goal scorer Alan Shearer, he seems to think that Man City forward Sergio Aguero is the best foreign import in the Premier League. Now honestly, I don't really know where to begin with the potential list of candidates. If you're a United fan, it's probably Eric Cantona. If you're an Arsenal fan, you're probably going to say Thierry Henry. Chelsea fans, you'll definitely be talking about Gianfranco Zola. And for Spurs fans, it has to be Ramon Vega. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below who your greatest ever foreign player in the Premier League is. It could be anyone from Vieira to Schmeichel, even Nicolas Dabizas. Let me know. That's all for me for now. Make sure you smash that like button and leave all of your thoughts down below. And until next time, I'll see you then. And if you want to check out all the latest content from OneFootball, be sure to click here.